now we will discuss various kinds of cyber crime and the first one is cyber stalking cyber stalking is an act of stalking harassing or threatening someone using internet or computer as a medium this is often done to defame a person and use email social network instant messenger web posting etc by using internet as a medium as it offers anonymity the behavior includes false claim to defame a person threat sexual exploitation to minors monitoring etc child pornography it is an act of possessing image or video of a minor who is under 18 engaged in sexual conduct forgery and counterfeiting it is a use of computer to forgery and counterfeiting a document with the advancement in the hardware and the software it is possible to produce counterfeits which matches the original document to such an extent that it is not possible to judge the authenticity of the document without expert judgment software piracy and crime related to iprs software piracy is an illegal reproduction and distribution of software for personal use or business it comes under crime related to ipr infringement some of the other crimes under ipr infringement are downloading of songs downloading movies etc cyber terrorism it is defined as the use of computer resources to intimidate government the civilian population or any segment thereof in furtherance to political or social objectives phishing it is a process of acquiring personal and sensitive information of an individual via email by disguising as a trustworthy entity in an electronic communication the purpose of phishing is identity theft and the personal information like username password and credit card number etc may be used to steal money from the user account if a telephone is used as a medium for identity theft it is known as phishing or voice phishing another form of phishing is smishing in which sms is used to lure customers computer vandalism it is an act of physically destroying computer resources using physical force or malicious code computer hacking it is a practice of modifying computer hardware and software to accomplish a goal outside the creator's original purpose the purpose of hacking a computer system may vary from simple demonstrations of technical ability to stealing modifying or destroying information for social economic or political reasons now the corporates are hiring hackers a person who is engaged in hacking computers to intentionally hack the computer of an organization to find and fix security vulnerabilities the hackers may be classified as white hat white hat hackers are the persons who hack the system to find the security vulnerabilities of a system and notify to the organizations so that the preventive action can be taken to protect the system from the outside hackers white hat hackers may be paid employees of an organization who is employed to find the security loopholes or may be a freelancer who just want to prove his mental in the field they are popularly known as ethical hackers black hat hackers in contrast to the white hat the black hat hack the system with ill intentions they may hack the system for social political or economically motivated intentions they find the security loopholes of a system and keep the information themselves and exploit the system for personal or organizational benefits till the organization whose system is compromised is aware of this and apply security patches they are popularly known as crackers gray hat gray hat hackers find out the security vulnerabilities and report to the site administrators and offer the fix to the security bug for a consultancy fee blue hat 
A blue hat hacker is someone outside computer security consulting firms who is used to bug test a system prior to its launch looking for exploits so that they can be closed. The next kind of cyber crime is creating and distributing viruses over internet. The spreading of a virus causes business and financial loss to an organization. The loss includes the cost of repairing the system, cost associated with the loss of business during the downtime, and the cost of opportunity. The organization can sue the hacker if found for the sum of more than or equivalent to the loss borne by the organization. Spamming Sending of unsolicited and commercially bulk message over the internet is known as spamming. An email can be classified as spam if it meets following criteria. First is mass mailing. The email is not targeted to one particular person but to a large number of people. Second is anonymity. The real identity of the person is not known. And the third is unsolicited. The email is neither expected nor requested for the recipient. These spams not only irritates the recipients and overload the network but also waste the time and occupy the valuable memory space of the mailbox. Online auction fraud. There are many genuine websites who offers online auction over internet. Taking the advantage of the reputation of these websites, some of the cyber criminals lure the customers to online auction fraud schemes which often lead to either overpayment of the product or the item is never delivered once the payment is made. Cyber squatting. It is an app of reserving the domain names of someone else's trademark with intent to sell it afterwards to the organization who is the owner of the trademark at a higher price. Logic bombs. These are malicious code inserted into a legitimate software. The malicious action is triggered by some specific condition. If the conditions hold true in future, the malicious action begins and based on the action defined in the malicious code, they either destroy the information stored in the system or make system unusable. Webjacking The hacker gains the access to a website of an organization and either block it or modify it to serve political, economical, or social interest. Internet time thefts. Hacking the username and password of ISP of an individual and surfing the internet at his cost is internet time theft. Denial of service attack. It is a cyber attack in which the network is choked and often collapsed by flooding it with useless traffic and thus preventing the legitimate network traffic. Salami attack. It is an attack which proceeds with small increments and final add up to lead a major attack. The increments are so small that they remain unnoticed. An example of salami attack is gaining access to online banking of an individual and withdrawing amount in such a small amount that it remains unnoticed by the owner. Often there is a default trigger set in the banking website and transaction below say rupees 1000 withdrawal are not reported to the owner. Withdrawing amount of rupees 10000 over a period of time will lead to a total withdrawal of a large sum of money. Data diddling. It is a practice of changing the data before its entry into the computer system. Often the original data is retained after the execution on the data is done. For example, DA or a basic salary of a person is changed in the payroll data of an individual for pay calculation. Once the salary is calculated and transferred to his account, the total salary is replaced by his actual salary in the report. Email spoofing. It is a process of changing the header information of an email so that its original source is not identified and it appears to an individual 
at the receiving end that the email has been originated from source other than the original source. So in this lecture, we have discussed about cybercrime, its classification and its types followed by a detailed note on malware and its type. I hope this lecture was useful for you and helped you in attaining your learning objectives. Thank you.